CompTIA, Tech Plus, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.4, Explain the Troubleshooting Methodology. Establish a theory of probable cause and test the theory. Step 3 in CompTIA's troubleshooting process is to establish a theory of probable cause. In other words, based on the symptoms and information gathered, what's the most likely reason the issue is happening? This naturally leads into step 4, where you test that theory to see if it holds up. These two steps often go hand in hand and may need to be repeated. After all, not every first guess will be right, and as the saying goes, if at first you don't succeed, try again. If you have completed step 1, identify the problem. And step 2, research a knowledge base. Then you hopefully have gathered sufficient information about an issue to proceed to step 3, establish a theory of probable cause. Here you will begin to think about possible causes to an issue with the hopes of narrowing down the list of suspects. When you first tackle a problem, start with theories that are easy to test and be sure to question the obvious. Assumptions at this point can be catastrophic. Let's say we receive a complaint that a user's laptop is not working. An example of questioning the obvious would be to check if it is even charged. It also helps to think outside the box and consider multiple approaches. You could even work with another technician to attack the problem from different angles. You could work on one theory while your coworker tries another theory. This approach is referred to as divide and conquer. Step 4 in CompTIA's troubleshooting process is to test the theory to determine the cause. Coming up with a theory was a great start, but now you need to test it. While testing is the logical step after establishing a theory, we need to remember these two steps are an iterative process and we might need to repeat them a number of times. Testing a theory will require some kind of experiment or action to confirm the cause of an issue. This can include changing out a component for a known good component or performing an experiment on a test system. Once your theory is confirmed and you have found the root cause of an issue, the next step is to resolve the problem. If testing does not confirm your theory, establish a new theory. At some point you may run out of ideas, and that is okay. At that point you need to find a way to escalate the problem. A form of escalation could be seeking help from another technician, a supervisor, or a specialist in the area you are having an issue with. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.